Matrix A can be factored as A equals P times D times P inverse. P times D times P inverse is the diagonalization of matrix A. And notice we're given matrix D and matrix P, and we're asked to find matrix A raised to the fifth power. Well, once we determine the diagonalization of matrix A, we can determine the fifth power of matrix A by determining P times D to the fifth times P inverse. Because we are given matrix D and matrix P, the first step is to determine the inverse of matrix P, which I've shown below using the inverse formula for a two by two matrix. P inverse is equal to the matrix 10, 3, negative 27, negative eight. So now that we know P inverse, we know matrix A again is equal to P times D times P inverse. We're not actually asked to find matrix A, but I did want to show that matrix A is the matrix negative 82, negative 24, 270, 79. And now we can find A to the fifth by determining P times D to the fifth times P inverse. The next step is to find the fifth power of the diagonal matrix. Because matrix D is a diagonal matrix, we can determine the fifth power of the matrix by raising the entries along the main diagonal to the fifth power. The fifth power of negative one is negative one, and the fifth power of negative two is negative 32. And now we can find A to the fifth by determining the product of these three two by two matrices. A to the fifth is equal to the matrix with entries negative 2,512, negative 744, 8,370, and 2,479. Before we go, I do want to check this using the Desmos matrix calculator. I've already entered matrix P and matrix D. Let's verify P inverse. Our P inverse is correct. Let's also verify matrix A by determining P times D times P inverse. Matrix A is correct, and now let's find matrix A to the fifth two ways. Let's find A to the fifth, and P times D to the fifth times P inverse. And notice how we do get the same result. I hope you found this helpful.